I just want to sleep, Brayden Bennett. I just want to sleep. And the stupid melatonin doesn't work at all. I tell you, this past summer, I would go to bed and fall to sleep instantly. I was so tired. But come one or two in the morning, ping, I was wide awake, ruminating about everything and nothing. I tried everything to fall back to sleep. I would count the sheep. I would try breathing deeply like Doreen. I even tried reading, reading the boring parts of the Old Testament. And Joseph, you know there's lots of those. But nothing worked. I would toss and turn. It was exhausting. And of course, I knew what the problem was. I had too much to do on my plate. I mean, way too much. My plate was overflowing. A year ago, my family decided to move from Alberta to the Oregon coast, where we hoped the temperate climate and lower altitude would help with a chronic health condition my wife has been dealing with. Plus, it would be an adventure. And it has been all that. But moving cross-border during the pandemic, helping my kids readjust to a new area when they couldn't meet people, and starting a fantastic dream job at a high-performance sales organization had taken its toll. I was stressed out. I knew I needed to cut some junk out of my schedule. Ugh. But of course, I went about it all the wrong way. I started with those things that are easy to remove, you know, like exercise, other than Coach Felipe, who actually likes exercise. That was gone. And then there's family. It's not like I didn't spend time with my wife and kids. But I hate to admit, I was less present, less engaged than I should have been. I was distant to those who mattered most. And then there's Toastmasters. Now that's a time suck, right? I didn't leave, but I took on less meeting roles. I never got around to writing speeches and my promo emails were short, uncreative, and always last minute. And you know, removing these things from my life didn't help at all. They absolutely made it worse. It wasn't until I finally internalized the ad advice from religious leader Russell M. Nelson to control those things you can control. And by adopting a activity flow chart from author Tim Ferriss, that I actually stopped and evaluated how I was spending my time, especially at work. I realized that if I did things that I didn't enjoy, didn't increase my sales commission income, or that could be delegated, I was just adding unnecessary junk to my to-do plate. No wonder it was overflowing. It's taken some work, but here are a few things that I've intentionally changed to reduce my to-do calories. First, and maybe most important, I've decided to only open and respond to emails at work two times a day at 11 and 3.30. And I can only begin to tell you how incredible this change has been. I'm able to get in in the morning and work on the most important tasks without having to the distraction of email. And you know what? When people are urgent, they call me. Otherwise, they can wait a couple hours. And it's amazing how many things just kind of go away when I'm slow to respond. Second, I realized that when I was feeling stressed, sometimes I was my own worst enemy. I would self-medicate with a little distraction of my own. I would check hockey updates, scroll through a little bit of Google News. It was just stopping me from getting those important things done so I could have some free time. So just like Tammy Nischuk, I've committed to only checking NHL updates on Oilers game day 
and only checking Google News once a week because who really care what Joe Biden's doing today? Finally, I got really critical about how I was spending or what I was saying yes to at work. My income is based off the revenue I can generate for my company. But it's amazing how much double stuff, fluff comes up every day. Like somebody email, hey, I can't download this software. My mantra is delegate, delegate, delegate. Now I have to be honest, between family and church commitments, work and Toastmasters, my plate's still pretty full, but it's not overflowing anymore. This busy for busy sake stuff, juice ain't worth the squeeze. When I'm intentional about what I choose to put on my plate, I can get the important things done and things that give me energy. Like this, speaking at Toastmasters, I've been able to work a few less hours every week and spend that time with my family, doing the things we enjoy together. And yes, coach, there's a few hours every week to get to the gym again. The choice was mine all along, but now I'm choosing less of the junk, more of the good, healthy stuff. Madame Toastmaster. <laughs>